Hey you guys, uh, Nitin here. In this video, I'll be talking about sustainability in biomimicry. So, uh, what is biomimicry? Biomimicry is the observation and studying of nature's models to imitate them or use them as inspiration for design or processes with the goal of solving a human problem. So, uh, what is sustainable architecture? Sustainable architecture is the one that seeks to minimize the negative environmental impact of building by efficiency and moderation in the use of materials, energy, development space and the ecosystem at large. Sustainable architecture uses a conscious approach to energy and ecological conservation in the design of the built environment. And uh, our first example would be Council House 2. Council House 2 is an office building located at 240 Little Collins Street in the CBD of Melbourne, Australia. It has a 5 green star rating. In this building, 1 lakh litres of water is extracted and cleaned from the sewers beneath the building and used to condition the air. This is the reminiscent of how certain termite species use the proximity of aquifer water as an evaporative cooling mechanism. Uh, in this part of the video, I'll be showing you the section uh, which shows the mechanism of cooling. Uh, the below part is the heating mode which is only required in the early winter mornings and the top part is the cooling mode which is generally required in the office hours. So uh, here's the simulation which shows the heating and cooling which happens inside the building. So uh, our next example is Kirkin Tower. Uh, which has derived its inspiration from the Venus Flaps basket sponge. Some of the advantages of the design are uh, the building has minimal wind blast of pedestrian at street level due to the cylindrical shape of the tar which allows the wind to pass smoothly around it. Efficacious implementation of passive cooling, heating, ventilating and lighting techniques through the use of double skin facade. So, uh, in the first image, you could see the curved sides which allow the wind to pass easily through the building, causing higher negative air potential at the back of the building, unlike the normal rectangular buildings. And in the second image, there is an angled rotation in the floor plates which is about 5 degrees, which helps to create a wet shaped light well to light up the building. So uh, our next example would be East Gate Centre, Harare, Zimbabwe. Indigenous Zimbabwe masonry and the self-cooling mounds of African termites inspire the East Gate Centre design. It stays regulated year-round with dramatically less energy consumption using the design methods. So uh, another striking feature of this building is it uses less than 10% of the energy of a conventional building of its size through passive cooling and heating technique. 
and uh, the building is designed in a temperate area and has proven to be successful in regulating the temperature of the internal area of the building, the outside air and of the concrete slab. So uh, here's a small clip showing you the simulation of the air movement inside a thermite mound which is the inspiration to our building and a simulation of air regulation inside the building. Here in this graph you could see the average energy use of Eastgate building lies way more lesser than the other buildings. So our next example would be Qatar Ministry of Agriculture which is based in Qatar. The building uses the relationship of cactus with its environment as a model to build in the desert. The sun shades on the windows are exposed to night swelling instead of daytime to keep the water cool as well as turning on and off the response of heat. So our next example would be Kirby Desert Home designed by Iranian students which mimics the snail. So uh, here you could see how a snail adopts to the surrounding temperature. So here in the structure of the shell, uh, you could see the air cushions which are formed at the bottom and you could see the 95 degree reflection angle, 65 degree shade angle which is uh, kind of considered while designing of the building. So our next example would be Sahara Forest Project which is based in Qatar which has derived its inspiration from the Nambian fog basking beetle. The special feature about this basking beetle is it collects fog from the air and it condenses into water. The same is taken as inspiration to the project. This project is based in Qatar which is basically a desert kind of land. Here the project works on the ecosystem level and solar panels are installed to make it a sustainable one. Here, the woman is explaining about a material which would typically condense the fog ridden air into water and this is one of the material which is extensively used in the project and the amount of water which we get from this project is this and which makes it sustainable. Our next example is the Eden Project Conville in England uh, which was designed by Grimshaw Architects. Soap bubbles inspired the form of the biomes and the cellular structure inspired the hexagonal frames. Each of the biomes consists of several geodesic domes which are joined together. The picture here shows how the inspiration has been derived from the nature as well as how the structure, material and design has helped to create a sustainable environment in itself. Here you can see how the material and the structure has helped to form a new environment inside.
थैंक यू